Hello all and welcome back to the channel. Today we are on a visit with uh, Henning Trank to see his bedroom in a cellar with 18 aviaries and breeding cages. And right now we are in the midst of the breeding season, so really a lot of very interesting things is going on right now. As some of you may recall, we have visited Henning uh, several times before, especially to see his crazy collection of uh, Major Mitchell cockatoos. And in the end of this video, I'll insert a link so you can see them again. Right now we are in a small room where Henning keeps two aviaries, where he keeps mostly non-breeding birds. This is both birds waiting to be sold and juvenile and chicks waiting to get their colors. But as often with birds, you can't control everything. So actually several birds have begun breeding in these aviaries as well. In these areas, we can see a lot of star finches, some painted finches, Gouldian finches, some golden breasted waxbills, and several others resembling a lot of those birds you're going to see in the next many aviaries. As you can see here, even though these birds are more or less waiting, they are still provided a very nutritious and varied food. As you also can see here, and he uses a lot of natural sticks and branches for the birds to sit on and to give a very good atmosphere within the aviaries. Actually, his aviaries are much more beautiful and interesting to watch than many of the bird shows I've attended. And slowly, we are moving into the next room where he keeps three aviaries, all with breeding birds. In each area, he has several different species, which he selects so they can work well together even when breeding. This ensures that he get a maximum usage of each aviary because he can keep several birds not disturbing each other. And again, it makes up for a wonderful sight for the visitor. Basically, you can use lots of time just to look into each aviary to look and see the different birds, find their nests, find their chicks, etc. And in this next aviary, we have besides the seed eaters, besides the red browed finch, a pair of a breeding pair of Dibowski's twin spot. I never had this species before, but after visiting Henning this time, where he had three different pairs of this bird, I fell in love with it and acquired a pair myself. It's always very interesting and fun to have new challenges. Now moving on to the final aviary in this room. In this aviary, we have the masked finch and we have the red-winged petilia. In the aviary before, we had the yellow-winged petilia. And it's important to know that both these petillia species require lots of insects when rearing their chicks. Again, we have an aviary with several different species, more or less breeding all of them, indicating that there's no problem between these species. Lots of plant material in the top of the aviary and on the bottom of the aviary as well. Henning always makes sure that there are some hiding places, etc. for the birds to use. All in all, three very well positioned aviaries. And now we move into the next room, the largest room in the cellar, where he has three big aviaries and several smaller cages. Both in the aviaries and in the cages, having always made sure there's lots of light to the benefit of both birds and humans. Here we have a pair of black siskins. Actually, Henning tried to breed these in an aviary before, but with no luck. But as soon as they were moved to this, Cates, they begun breeding right away. And in this next cage, we have a wonderful pair of common grenadiers. Unfortunately, they haven't begun anything yet. But let's wait and see. Probably they will begin soon. And again, all these cages resemble more or less a setup from a bird zoo or bird show. I really like the look. In here, we have yet a pair of Dibowski's twin spot. Wonderful birds again. These birds had already built a nest and there were some indications they had eggs in the nest as well. And now we see yet two large breeding aviaries with lots of finches, very well lit aviaries. And here on the bottom, we have a pair of red throated twin spots where we have the male with the feather making courtship to his female. If we move further up in the aviary, we have a bird related to the black siskin and this is the yellow bellied siskin. Here we have the beautiful male. And moving on to the next aviary, we have a pair of Gouldian finches that had already got a large clutch of chicks on the stack, and now they had new chicks in the nest. And each time I see the grey juvenile Gouldian finch, I'm amazed knowing that they will grow up to one of the most colorful birds on our planet. Also in this aviary, we have the golden-breasted waxbill, also known as the orange-breasted waxbill, 
and the owl fins, the double part fins, and these cotton blue birds. Before moving on to the next every, please enjoy the view down this path and Please note the details that Henning keeps some very good chairs in most of the rooms where he can sit and relax and enjoy the birds. If not for enjoying the birds, what is this hobby for? And here we have three cages on top of each other, all with birds. On the top we have some long tailed finches in a grey and very nice looking rotation. In the middle cage we have these wonderful and in Denmark at least, very rare birds, the white-bellied crimson finches. These are actually breeding with checks in the nest. And then in the bottom cage, we had a pair of black and white munias. Now we're moving into another very interesting feature in Henning's bird keeping. This is actually a more or less outdoor aviary, not very tall, but quite wide. And the reason for this is that it is below his terrace. So just on top of this, people are going around during summer and enjoying tea and coffee. It doesn't seem to bother or disturb the birds at all. And he keeps a lot of both soft bills and finches in here with very good results. And as you may saw, he keeps both the red crested cardinal and the red or the northern cardinal together here. Both uh, have been breeding. And this is a combination I've been in, uh, having in my large outdoor every as well without any problems at all. It is worth noticing that despite the name, the red crested cardinal is not a true cardinal and hence they are not very close related to the Northern Cardinal. Moving on to the next indoor aviary, we have the red siskins here. We also have a pair of Gordon Blues again with several checks. In here we also have a mutation of the owl finches, the double barred finch, and a pair of golden breasted wax bells. Unfortunately, I just lost my own female of the red siskins, so I'm looking for a new one so they can breed again this summer. Moving into the final room and the last three everies, we see lots of the same birds again, which shows a good thing. I must admit, I'm not very good at myself. If you have space for it, try to have several of each bird species, so you have several pairs going on, breeding at the same time. So if you lose one bird, it is not as bad for the entire breeding season as if you only have one pair of each, each bird species. With the more, if you got chicks from several different Pairs of the same species can make unrelated pairs of the ticks, being a perfect start for the next breeding season. Another time, I hope we can go back and look further into which food he provides for his birds. But here you can see he also breeds his own uh, insects, mealworms and giant mealworms. And here in the end of the video, we'll take a tour back, seeing all the same areas, but giving you a better view of the entire setup. I'd like to thank Henning for inviting me once again and seeing his wonderful setup and beautiful birds. And I hope all of you enjoyed the tour. As always, if you have any comments or questions, please let me know and I will try to answer the questions or get the right answers from Henning. Please enjoy the rest of the video. Take care. Bye.